and Elizabeth and Tradition returning later this month with a great lineup of entertainment and a lot of fun in store. It's Covered Bridge Days here to tell us all about it. Kelly Kitchens back Hello, in studio. Welcome back. back. Yeah, and this is a big one coming up later on yes. in the month. Yes, uh, and it's officially fall in 18 <laughs> days, I saw. So we're counting it down, and this is definitely our fall tradition. Yeah, two things stick out when we talk about Covered Bridge Days. A lot of free stuff, a yes. lot of stuff for the entire family, including the kids. Absolutely, and all weekend long. So there's really no reason not to come out and get to spend the afternoon, the evenings in beautiful Elizabeth then at Cover Bridge Park. Um, we'll have everything from crafts to music. Um, Kids Island itself has so much for the family. Uh, we've got free inflatables that'll go all weekend long phone parties, magicians, character meet and greets, um, as well as a few pay to play attractions as well. So something for everybody to do. And uh, also music, a big part of Covered Bridge Park yes. and a big part of Covered Bridge Days. It is, we're really excited this year. We get to bring Sister Sadie on Friday night. We'll have a performance at eight o'clock. On Saturday is going to be the Gatlin Brothers at eight o'clock. And then that will be followed by, of course, our big fireworks show um, that people really love. That's sponsored by the Elizabethan Chamber in Tor Carter County. And then Saturday at four, or I'm sorry, Sunday at 4.30 is Colton Dixon. So a full weekend of music and fun. Where can people find more information? Where can they find a schedule as they kind of want to start laying out their yes, weekend? Yes, that is a great question because there is a lot to consider. Um, so anytime you just want to go and, and look at what we've got going on in the times, you can visit our website at elizabethin.org. Um, follow our Covered Bridge Days tab. You can also find us on Facebook at Covered Bridge Days, and that'll have all of the graphics there as well. You know, such a wide variety describe why it's so important to, to have really something for everyone for the entire three days. Yes, well, this is definitely a staple for our community, having Cover Bridge Days. The Chamber of Commerce successfully ran this um, event for uh, I believe we're going somewhere around 50 years now. Uh, Elizabeth and Parks and Rec took this over three years ago. Um, and it's just important just to highlight our community. We're so unique in the resources that we have, having Covered Bridge Park there, overlooking the Doe River, bringing not only the residents in to have that community pride that we have so well in Elizabethan, but also the tourists to come down and see what we have to offer and, and what it is that we're doing um, and highlighting in Elizabethan. And so a great way to do that is you know, looking at our craft vendors that we have, some of our local artisans there, local entertainment, as well as these big acts that we're bringing in. And of course, just the sense of community that we have in Elizabethan. And so having so much for free just to come out and enjoy. Uh, food fair, of course, you know, we've got the food trucks out there. My favorite part of the event itself is our youth business fair, which will take place that Sunday, sponsored by Carter County Bank. Great entrepreneurial fair for children ages seven to 18. Oh, what an amazing weekend it is going to be. Covered Bridge Day, September 22nd through the 24th. It will be here before you know it, right there in the heart of downtown Elizabeth. And as Kelly mentioned, music, vendors, food, fun for the whole family. Find more information at CoverBridgeDays.org. Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you for See having me. See you on the 22nd. Me. Yes.